delighted to welcome a very special guest to the TalkSport Drive studio now. A man you're going to hear a lot more of. He fights on Saturday night. Let's say hello, good afternoon and good evening to British light heavyweight Ben Whitaker joins us. Hello, Ben Whitaker. Good evening, Ben. Thank you very much for having me. Nice yeah. to actually finally be here other than the Zoom chat. We spoke to you a few times on, on Zoom. I know you've done yeah. stuff for TalkSport as well, but it's nice to have you in the studio for the first time. Yeah, it was great. We played a bit of darts, had a hot chocolate. I, I kind of like it. Yeah, <laughs> wow, we're looking after you, right? Yeah, Are you any good at darts? Um, the camera saw it. Uh, okay, we'll we'll no, leave that right. for another day. It's not easy, is it? No, what, is I thought it, it was easy. <laughs> Lou Little it makes it. Talk yeah. about Lou Little. But I went to the pub the other day. I don't drink, but it's a baby shower. I was like, pass me that triple 20. I was hitting the board, hitting the walls. <laughs> yeah, it's not uh, easy. It, it's, it's a hard You have bought a big old entourage with you. It's almost like a YouTuber's in the studio. <laughs> no, it is. It's but, just family. They look after me. Um, they all play the role, so it's part of the well, game. Well, listen, we're glad to have you. Um, we've got lots to talk to you about. Um, let's let's look ahead to the, the weekend's fight, actually. You've only had, what, is it five fights you've had so five far? Fights, As a professional, yeah. and of course you've won them all. Uh, Gabby and I were talking about um, the sort of fighter you are, and yeah. we... I, I don't know as a kid growing up who you who you wanted to copy or yeah. maybe you, the style of, but we both said Prince Nassim Hamid. Yeah. Just for the sort of the camaraderie <laughs> in the ring, the way you box, the way you antagonise your opponent, <laughs> it, was he someone that you looked up to as a kid growing up? Was that how you've based your style on that kind of fight or is it something that comes natural to you anyway? Truthfully, I'm just a wind-up merchant. So at school, I was always winding the kids up and I think that's my boxing style. Uh, growing up watching boxing, obviously, the Mayweather's the money man. But um, actually, my first ever boxer that I wanted to be like was Mario Kindling. Uh, he beat Amir Khan in the Olympic final. He's the man that really opened up my eyes to the sport. And then uh, you look down the line, we've had some great fires, but hopefully I can be that next person. Do, do you say, you know when you say wind up, is it like you wind them up and they, they, you get in their heads yeah. and they start swinging and you pick them off? 100%, oh, yeah. exactly. I've seen that in your fights. Yeah, a lot of people call it showboating and whatnot, but it's part of the sport, it's part of the art. Hit and not get hit and... There's so many ways you can do it. You can put your hands up, you can put your hands down, you can draw them in. And that's just my style of boxing and it's working right now. Uh, tell me about your opponent at the weekend. I've got his name in front of me, but there's no one. Yeah, I'd rather you try than me. <laughs> Khalid, <laughs> Khalid, I do apologise if you've seen Khalid Griladia. It's close enough. Is that not? Is close. That not? I think okay. it sounds right. It doesn't matter because you're going to beat him, right? Exactly. exactly. Um, but do you know much about him? I'm guessing you've watched his style, you've watched him fight before? Yeah, of course. He's a tough guy so from from, from France. Um, he fought Dan Aziz recently, went the distance, fought another good fighter called Zach Parker. So he's been around, he's fought some tough guys. And for me, he's just to put on a dominant performance than the other guys did. How, how important is it at your level, right, yeah. to get the performance and the win? rather than just the win because you're relatively yeah. no I know you're what, 26 years old 26 yeah but I'm guessing for you it's just about climbing that ladder right so if you come out the ring after a win and you're like it's not the greatest performance yeah. do you really care that much so long as you get the W I do sadly I'm my own critic um, the Olympics kind of showed I come, I won a silver medal and was crying on the podium because I always want that one better And you didn't want, you refused to wear the silver is that right Oh uh, well it come across as that but it was actually Covid you had to put it on yourself and Lose and I didn't really want to put it on myself, but you know, uh, sorry, sorry, I could have handled it. You better, come up with a great line. I'm, I'm sure you said something along the lines of, "You don't win a silver, you lose a gold." Is that right? Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I is. like that. I like that. That's what it is. I think uh, everybody in sports uh, want to win, no matter what you want to do, and especially in boxing, it's one of those sports where I fought what, two months ago. So if I didn't perform two months ago, that same performance is in everyone's mind until the next fight. So. You always need to perform. You always need to outdo people because sadly you use your own brand. And if you don't perform, you get forgotten about. You know, as well with boxing as well, I've noticed is that like your style, for instance, yeah. it's catching the eye of people. Yeah. People are talking about you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So 100%. even if, if even your fights, if say one of your fights, you wasn't at your best, people yeah. are talking about you because of your style. Yeah. And the main event is the same weight category <laughs> yeah. as you, isn't it? So is that something you're going to be watching and thinking like, I want, I want them in a... In time, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. but 100%. something looking at you. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. You hit the nail on the head. I think we always need to look what's up and what's behind. So I'm, I've always got my my eyes on both shoulders, really. But looking at that main event, two great fighters. Obviously, they want to look up, not down. They're probably thinking Ben doesn't offer anything right now. But if I keep winning, keep performing, I'm going to get there sooner or later. And of course, you'd prefer the winner because he's got more to offer. But of course, yeah. even the loser's got a great name, and um, on your resume, that would look great.
There are some people that criticise the way you box with regards to the antics. How do you, I'm not one of the noise cabin. <laughs> you you was before he come in. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll let him off. We'll him off. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. But I, I think all sports need showmen. I think all sports. I mean, none more so than darts, right? When you come in, Luke Littler was on the telly behind me, and the whole, you know, the whole world, this whole country, their eyes have been lit up with a new game called darts, which 100%. a lot of people weren't aware of. And I, I really think that people need new people coming into the sport to, to move it on to new yeah. places and new eyes, etc. So I'm a big fan of styles like yours, but there are some people that perhaps look down on it. Yeah. How do you how do you feel about that? It's one of those things. Um, everybody's got their own opinion, and especially in boxing, there's he should do this, he should do this. But at the end of the day, as long as I'm winning, that's all that matters. But I can see what they're getting at. Maybe it's the accent, maybe it's on my annoying face. But like <laughs> like I said, as long as I win, they can say what they want mm. about the style. But not only that as well, good or bad, publicity. It's all good publicity. Okay. So, 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 I don't know if you was your last fight, but you went head to head, didn't you? Yeah, your opponent, that, that was all... And I, that was and like I, a WWE, yeah, that was. Yeah, and I was seeing it and I'm like... <laughs> And then you, you you got that way of boxing. I'm thinking yeah. like he's getting angry here, mm-hmm. and then like you, that you might go for it, yeah. and he's not meant to. And then you pick him off, and then it's yeah. a knockout. So that's your style, isn't it? Like I said 100%. earlier, it's like, like I said, wind them up, and then all right, they're gonna take you out here while you're angry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hit the nail on the head. Um, it's it's all about it's all boxing's mental warfare. If I'm honest, it's about being one step ahead, doing something they don't like. You see the eyes change. Okay, that you didn't like that. It's all it's a fast fast vicious game of chess, sadly, and that's what it is. And you bring, that's what I love about it. you bring so many different styles in you shake them up you don't know what you're going to get and that's me let, let me ask you a bit about your private life if that's okay there's a reason I'm going to ask Marcus Rashford is in the news at the moment right we've got someone that's at the top of his game he's only a couple of years older than you yeah. but you know he's, he's he's played for his national side he's, same age as him you're 26 he's Rashford 26, 26? 27 yeah, 26. Is, he? is he okay Man. so you're the same age okay yeah, yeah. but he he's achieved so much more you'll hopefully get to that level mm-hmm. so the spotlight on you is so much less at the moment but yeah. there is there is of course the the opportunity for you to get to that level you keep winning yeah. more people want to know about you right there'll be I don't know if you're married or you've got a girlfriend or not, but there'll mm-hmm. be people of you know the opposite sex that you're yeah, attracted they'll come, to they'll and they, come out of they want to <laughs> slide into your DMs <laughs> you'll go out to a nightclub everyone wants their picture with you and yeah. so on you understand, of course, what it's like in your in your field, as it is any industry where you're put on a pedestal and yeah. everyone around the world knows about you and, and, and what you do for a living. How difficult do you think it's going to be for you to keep your feet on the floor? You win at the weekend, yeah. okay, more people know about you. You go into another fight, more people, you get to 10-0, yeah. and 0, you get to 15-0, and 0, people start talking about you becoming a world champion. Yeah. Have you thought about that? Have you got people around you that are preparing you for what could be around the corner? Yeah, truthfully, I've been brought up well, if I'm honest. I've got a great mum, great dad, great brother. They all keep me grounded. The showboat, all that showboat and stuff is just part of my character. But apart from that, I'm very switched on, if I'm honest. I know these times are supposed to happen, if I'm honest. When I was seven, I entered the gym. My dad said, you're going to be a boxer. That was the plan for me. So when all these people come out the woodworks, if you do go down that path, sadly, shoulda, woulda, coulda. If I listen to those drinking, messing around, mm. I'll look back and say I shouldn't have done it. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep dedicated, train as hard as I can, and then I could maybe do that when I finished. That's, that's what I was talking about earlier, because before the show, I was speaking yeah. to some of uh, the under-18s at Wimbledon, mm-hmm. speaking to the lads, giving them some advices, advice on just trying to stay away from yeah. people that want to take it's it. Hard, to, though, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's hard, though, Yeah, it's hard. I've been there where... I said, like, my dad went to the um, the academy director when I was 18 because I went yeah. out on a Friday night in town, in Birmingham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, went, he went and grasped me oh, up Oh, did he? And that's a good dad, though. That's yeah, a and good then, dad, like, but I didn't go out again. At the time, I bet he didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, but though. I didn't go out again. But even throughout my career, it's like, it's always someone who wants to come to this party, yeah. come, come and drink here. you got to stay focused, haven't you? Because 100%. otherwise, them little fine margins, yeah. especially in boxing, that's how the thing. you are in boxing. Yeah, that's the thing with me as well. And I know one shot can change your life sadly it sounds bad but it's true mm. and uh, one of my favorite boxers actually called adrian broner great fighter yes. but if you look at his history world titles the girls the alcohol this that he looks back now you look on his instagram sadly he, he could he wishes he could change it all but he can't now so even seeing someone like that seeing his story opened up my eyes i don't want to be like that and there's no nothing horrible to him, but if he just stayed dedicated, he could be a Hall of Famer now. Mm. But sadly, he isn't, and um, that's the road I don't want to. I hope we don't do. replay this to you in ten years' time when you come. Out <laughs> no, and no, 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 no. We walk it, walk it through the door sideways. You know, but you'll be like, let me in, Ben. Ben, exactly, never heard exactly, of exactly, exactly. And listen, let's talk about the other fight of the weekend, the big one, Buatsi against Aziz. Uh, it's a, it's a big fight 
for British boxing. Yeah. How, just tell me a bit about both boxers um, from your point of view and how you see the fight going. Yeah, the my weight categories are the rivals, of course, but two great men, two men fighting for the family. Uh, I've sparred both guys, especially Boatse. I sparred him for his Olympics. Then he came back and sparred me for my Olympics. So we've got great respect between each other. And Dan Aziz, um, he's done it the hard way, really. Small hall shows, probably had to sell tickets or he couldn't get on a show. Worked his way up, got the Sky gig, won all his titles. You have to respect it. So um, they're supposed to be friends, but they're putting that aside. It's a really true 50 50 fight, and I'm looking forward to it. Talk Sport Drive, super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.